Now, changing the tone quite significantly, protest flags are banned uh, at the proms, uh, the last night of the proms, as audience members are told that they will be confiscated. Yes, so the proms website says flags from prescribed groups and flags related to protest, hatred or advertising will not be allowed in the auditorium. Uh, so we want to debate whether, firstly, whether, you know, protest flags should be bad, but more, uh, whether we should just have the British flag. Maybe that should be the only one allowed, the Union flag. Or the British flag plus the flags of the nations of, of the, the United nations, Kingdom. Of the nations of the United Kingdom. Well, we're joined by Royal Broadcaster and historian Rafe hadelman Koo and the broadcaster and social commentator Iman Ayton. Thank you very much indeed to you both for joining us. Uh, Rafe, should it only be the Union flag and uh, other flags of our nations that uh, are allowed to be uh, waved at the last night of the proms? Well, I certainly think we shouldn't be having any protest flags. You know, it's important to have somewhere in our public life that isn't overtly political. Every other public space seems to have been taken over by politics. And the whole point of the last night of the proms is to unify the nation. It's not an official event like, you know, the king's birthday, but it's unofficially a chance for us all to actually come together in and, and have a bit of fun about our great history and celebrate all of that. And I think it's been a shame to see over the past few years politics inserting itself in the shape of the EU flag, which, of course, we have seen campaigners handing them out outside the Albert Hall. Now, there's nothing wrong with the occasional person waving a Canadian or a Norwegian or a Botswanan flag, but, you know, there, there are no citizens of the EU. And uh, to have such a, uh, you know, such a sort of a, a wave of them within the, the Albert Hall detracts from what should be a very, very uniting and positive event. I agree with what he's saying wholeheartedly. The proms is a music event. It's, it's a time for people to just come together enjoy music enjoy classical music i don't know about you guys but i enjoy classical music i grew up listening to classical music not a lot but some you know the planets a lot of british people grew up with the planets right i'm sure you did when it comes to just enjoying sitting down and enjoying classical music leave the politics out of it i don't want to hear about what's going on in the middle east we already have enough politics on a day-to-day -day basis there are protests daily daily all around the world especially in this country so why when it comes to the proms do you have to be waving all of these flags let's just enjoy art without having to bloody inject politics or your bloody protests or whatever into it or detracts from what should be a very very uniting and positive event Imam, what do you think of what race just said there surely we shouldn't have protest flags the the proms is supposed to unite people well, thank you for having me, um, Emily and Emma. Um, I appreciate it. Rafe always makes some half decent points. I'll, I'll, I'll be fair. Um, so I think it is all, always it is always about unity. But in order to achieve unity, we do have to include all of the different um, opinions and thoughts. And so when we think of uh, protests, like protest flags. I don't even know what that is. But a protest flag, if we kind of delve into intellectual terms. It's just people advocating for what they believe in. And if this is a country who uh, claims that they are leading with equality and inclusive um, behaviors and inclusive in terms of multiculturalism and uh, multi um, ethnicities, then we should be taking all of those things into account. And the only way to be unified is to do exactly that. And so when we talk about um, having different flags. Well, I think it's really important to just focus on the first and foremost point, which is that we're talking about classical music here, right? So classical music originated in Europe. It's not British. It, it never has been British, nor did it start and end with Britain. It actually comes from Europe. Europe has 44 countries. I think of Mozart, who was from Austria. I think of, um, ah, my mum, ah, working class black woman, who's very intelligent. She she played me music from some random man, some white man called George Handel. And right. it was a song called The Arrival. Let me just finish, please. It was the song called, if you don't mind, The Arrival of the Queen of Sheba. And if you are, if you all know classical music, you will know about this song from George Frederick Handel, The Arrival of the Queen of Sheba. This is what I was taught when I was 10. Hated it back then, as you can imagine. Now, fully appreciate it in this debate. And so more of the Taoists, 
England did not start classical music. It didn't end with England. Wait, wait, Emmanuel, therefore, I think you're debating a I on, think that's, that's on, very Emily, interesting, Emily, Emily, but I think we're debating Emily, a different Emily, question Emily, here, Emily, Emily, because Emily, we need to get back to the flags, Emmanuel. You didn't interrupt, Rafe. You didn't interrupt, Rafe. Can I just finish my point, please? Please. please to be allow fair, me to his point, point was shorter. And that, you're right. You're right. So I'll just make it very quick. Let's not act as if this is British. It's European. Sorted. Okay. <laughs> she raises an interesting point. Classical music is not, you know, perhaps historically British, but what does that have to do with the protest flags? Well, I will say is a lot of the great composers, yeah, they're not British. They come from elsewhere in Europe. The Mozarts, Beethoven's, um, even Gustav Holst, I believe. Let's not act as if this is British. It's European. Sorted. Okay, you, good stuff. <laughs> okay, Rafe, right. come back to that. Come back to that for us, because wow. um, I, I imagine that the proms is wary of, um, for example, having uh, a Palestinian flag, an Israeli flag, and, and something, you know, kicking off. Opinion. Um, and and they're probably worried about having anything related to any terror organisation, but I imagine that wouldn't happen. <laughs> None um, of those the are EU terror organisations. Hang on, hang on, Iman. I'm going to rave now. The EU flag, for example, we've seen a lot of that being waved. Maybe Maybe people with the pride flag, etc., etc. I mean, where would you draw the draw the line, Rafe? Well, can I just say I have no idea what Iman is talking about. We're not talking about people waving flags at every single classical music that was concert your sentence, that is held up Protest once. Let me finish my point. Up and down the country, we're talking about the last night of the proms, and the last night comes at the end of the prom seasons. We're doing you know, several hundred concerts in total uh, over that period. You know, if you want to protest, you can just walk outside the Albert Hall, cross the road, and go to Speaker's Corner in Hyde Park and have your protest there. Leave the politics at the door. The Albert Hall is for classical politics music. Politics everywhere. It's a treat, and it's a great British tradition. It's not a great European tradition. It's not a great Palestinian tradition. It's a British tradition. It's a time for us to celebrate. And I'm sorry, but politics has no place within what should be a moment for social cohesion and the nation coming together. The last night of the proms okay. is so popular that it's gone outside the walls of the Albert Hall. So there are separate last night of the proms parties at Hyde Park, in Belfast, in Edinburgh, in Cardiff. The British people know what they like to celebrate and they don't want to see it demeaned and devalued and uh, debased by having politics and the nasty politics of protest. Imran, we're just, uh, we're just don't running out of time. Imran, I'll give you 30 seconds. And Europeans and et sorry, Emily, sorry, sorry. But, no, 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 Imran, just, we, we're running out of time. So 30 seconds, uh, 30 seconds to you to finish your point. Okay, so, um, Race seems to be very much centered around British people, and it's very annoying when we talk about it's classical the last music. Night of the Europeans, <laughs> the Mozart was from Austria. I listened to Mozart. It's great. Yeah, to go to the Vienna Opera. And this is London, the last night of the Proms. You didn't want me to interrupt, Rafe. Allow me to finish. I'll keep it brief. I but know he's I, right, I though, about. isn't it? The Proms is me. British. No, 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 no. Ah, Emma, don't. Don't discount it is, though, what isn't Emily it? has just said. Please don't do that to Emily. Emily made a very valid point in terms of kind of understanding what I was saying, which is if we actually talk about facts, not feelings, not race perceptions, which she likes to lead with a lot. No, we're talking about facts and facts. Okay. Classical music is from Europe, Europe, Austria, Handel, who did the, the arrival of that is, the Queen That Shiba. is absolutely is true. From Germany. Is so we want to keep it to Europe. So we want to include all different okay. types of flags, all different types of feelings. Okay, different okay. Types well, it's a free for all in terms of flags for Iman's last night of the prize. No, no, and no, Rafe wants the uh, politics and that, any, any flags of protest that. to be left firmly and, and, and in the door. And in Austria, they Sorted. can wave the Austrian Politics flag, and in Germany, the German flag, and in France, the French flag at their yes. classical because music. Britain, I'm right? going to have to leave it there, Iman. I'm terribly sorry. Right? Rafe, thank you very much. Always a good sport. Right? Rafe Hedelmanku right? and Iman. <laughs> She continues. <laughs> That's oh, spicy. Okay, on this good afternoon, Britain, let us know your thoughts. Should protest flags be left at the door when it comes to the last night of the proms? Just because a lot of the great classical composers happen to be European, I don't think that necessarily means that everyone should be waving all sorts of European flags. If people want to wave their flags, they can. I just don't think it's necessary. It's like you're politicizing the event. You know, you can't go to a bloody West End show without a just, just stop Earl lunatic screaming that the planet is in crisis. But yeah, very, very interesting debate. And one, Nathan, either love or hate her, as I always say, <laughs> as I always say. 
But yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you later.